Hey. So what concoction can I drink to keep from catching it? <laughs> I hate to inform you, but you've already caught it, buddy. Thou shalt not fear the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Remember the psalm? I've always been curious why the pestilence walks there, like it's a living creature. Perhaps there's a reason. See, I've got a second daughter now. The first one is over there by the Gorkin, and the second is here by my side. Um, any idea what they eat? <laughs> the one by the Gorkin they're talking about is the polyhedron, right? But this one, hmm, this one needs food. Anything untouched by infected hands, meaning don't touch it yourself. She gave me a brilliant idea. To feed her normally? No. Why do we keep insisting that buildings have to go upwards? I want to create a great pit, Burrah. Get it? Like a polyhedron, but down, not up. Pits are frowned upon around here, don't you know? Even regular ones. Wait. The polyhedron defied the law of gravity, so the pit would completely defy our perception of space, our understanding of up and down. Do you get it? Do you? You just invented humanity's mass grave, is that it? A pit. A genius pit. They're not even listening. Uh, Peter, I'll take her from you in a couple of days, got it? Yeah, it'd be great if I could take him back to my lair. Um, I'll talk with them in a second, let me give them some medicine. Let's figure out what the problem is first. Um, their pain is quite high, I should give them a painkiller. Again, I still don't know why I would use one painkiller over the other. They obviously have different colors for different layers of the body, but... I don't know what the problem is. Good pain reduction. Let's do a yas. Bones or nerves? Welp, I know those aren't plus potions. I mean tinctures. So just to be careful, I'm gonna... Oh, I don't have a nerve one. Fuck, I don't know. What if I do this? Will that pinpoint anything? It's nerves. And... Oh, as a matter of fact, I can give you my medrol antibiotic. That didn't seem to reduce their infection by that much, really. Huh. It's disappointing. Hope you're okay, Peter. Will I be integrated as well? I don't know how to care for him. And actually, he's the one who's supposed to take care of you. Not at all. He's a living person. Meaning? He's real. But I don't know how to care for him. I'm used to singing lullabies, but I don't know what to do with the living. Do they like lullabies? Of course. Even adults need them sometimes. Peter will teach me. It's warm here. I... I like this place. Good, I'm, I'm glad Grace is doing okay. I would worry, I was really worried they would really go off the deep end, being away from what they knew for so long. Just don't get too close to him, alright? He can hear your lullaby from afar just fine.
it is definitely not time to sleep. So, treated, treated, I mean I failed to treat them, treated. I think everybody's good. All the people, you know, all my, uh, what are they called? There's a name for all of these people. The, the Bound, I think? Anyway, they're all taken care of, so now it's Aglaia and the theater. Let's take the boat. Just ignore them. Please get me out of here, boatman. Thank you. We got all this stuff to like dumped sort of in the water on the other side. Best way. Through here, up to the left. Yeah. You an enemy? No. No, you're the water person. Can't, I don't have enough water for even a tourniquet, and I don't think I'd want to trade for that anyway. I should keep an eye out for pharmacies. That's clothes. That's grocery. stuff. Oh god. Rings worth six? Ring for a thimble and a needle? That's actually totally worth it. So wait, did I know this place was infected? I didn't, but thankfully there's nobody who's bound that I need to treat here. Good. Let's stay in here as little as possible. I do have an extra lockpick. Lockpick for some toast. Totally worth it. My hunger is actually super high. I was about to start taking damage. I'm thirsty. Are you beating up one of the sick again? Alright, have fun with that. Actually, I should get more infected organs, shouldn't I? And I've partially repaired my scalpel. Hmm. I would really like to repair it one more level, though. Is there anybody around here who could help me repair my scalpel? Oh my god, it's grown. Oh my god, it's like a... It's growing, it's like a skeleton that's growing into a thing. Are they dead? I've been wondering. Perhaps you're doing this on purpose? Botching lines, falling from the stage, constantly kicking the bucket? You just want to see what it all leads to, don't you? I'm not doing this on purpose, no. And do note a curious thing. It's not earth rotting. It's sky. This tumor is growing up. So what does it mean? 
I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm small fry myself, bruh. It's bruh, isn't it? Bruh. You should be more careful, bruh. I don't like this tumor at all. Neither do I. They're alive. I can't treat them or anything. Oh man, even kids too. I mean, of course. Why wouldn't there be? Yeah, just patients spilling out. Because there's just too many. Hundreds and hundreds. Probably thousands and thousands. Alright, what's my work for today? Oh yeah, I should collect my medicine. Orderly. Do you plan to work today, Doctor? Uh, who are you? Grigory Gorky, Doctor. A uh, coal heaver. I'm a kinds man. Volunteer? Well, kinda, I guess. If you yoke yourself to death's plow, you might as well claim you've done so voluntarily. Hurts your dignity less. Alright, what's today's job? A lot of patients died last night. They moaned for a while and they stopped. I guess some are still breathing. Nestling next to the corpses. Twitching. Can't tell anymore. <sighs> Without Ruben, this place is a circus. Don't raise your voice at me. It's a theater, not a hospital. And I'm a coal heaver, not a doctor. No one ever taught us how to fight the plague. She's a cunning minx. Mixing the dead and the living into one. One day she's silent, and the next she m mows down a hundred. She'll mow your folk down too, mark my word. We're doing the best we can. Your best sucks. <laughs> so what are our orders for today? Hmm. Prepare bandages and warm water. When I bring the survivors, you'll need to wash them. Find the living among the dead inside and outside the theater. Okay, thankfully that sounds like a relatively easy task. I think. I don't need organs. <laughs> no medicine for today. Great. Thankfully I don't need it. Find the living... They're not going to have any loot on them, would they? No. Oh god. Oh shit. I need to raise my immunity really badly. Zirk. Ups my thirst. Drink some water. We're good, sort of. That's still really low resistance. I'm stepping on bodies. Is anybody alive in here? Ooh. Are there people upstairs? Oh, there are. Oh, here we go. Move to hospital. I found two survivors. Oh, that's the whole grace stuff, yeah. The rest are probably outside. Like that was it. Done with my shift for today. Tomorrow the fund will reward me and new work will become available at the hospital. I wonder how big the fund's gonna be. Given that there wasn't even medicine here, I'm not expecting much. Given that Ruben's gone. I really want to know how they died. 
I'm glad that was so easy because I don't have a lot of resources left in me. Alright, let's head to the cathedral. And let's head to the pharmacy along the way. Ooh, kids. Soap. I don't want soap. This I do want. Two safety pins for some? Oh no. Plus a needle? Uh... Yeah, yeah, that's worth it. Oh, these kids sometimes have schmouter. Not that I'd be able to trade for it. Hmm, this... Chalk for three, I don't have enough chalk. I need food really soon. There's the pharmacy. person. I'd like to keep at least four fingernails so I can go on boats two times. I, I mean, I'm not exhausted right now. I'm not even at half exhaustion. Oh, can you repair some stuff? Yes. Yes, let's get the scalpel up to the next level. Good water? Bad water. Mysterious note. The Ripper's murderer will come to Friday's yard when pigs fly. You hear that, Ripper? We found him. What? Friday's yard when pigs fly okay well not sure what i can do with that just like all these other notes but i'll copy it down wait children have tracked a murderer they said he'll come to friday's yard when pigs fly overhead guess i'll have to wait a bit could it be the murderer? Is it actually, like, marked? No, but it's listed. Interesting. I'm glad I checked. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I want to go across this bridge, so let's take the little bridge across the water down here. Or no, sorry, this bridge isn't across the water, it's... Ah, whatever. Who cares? Raisin kid. I've got a good amount of bottles. Can make a lot more tinctures.
Good water? Yes, good water. That is so satisfying. Why do they have gallows out here? Who exactly are they gonna hang? It must be the it must be fucking Aglaya. Oh wow. You know, maybe before I go in there, let's go speak with the canes, or kinds rather. I can save my game and I need to speak with them anyway. The town is calling me. Open the box carefully, and sum it all up. Do you know what our cathedral is for? Tell me. It produces time. Meaning, literally. Can this production be stopped? Great question. You're an astute man, Dr. Burrah. Just like your father. Time is more complicated than we think. We perceive it as homogeneous, uniform, and continuous. Keyword being perceive. Is our perception wrong? There was a time when people believed the sun rotated around an immobile earth. It was obvious, wasn't it? Only our eyes deceived us. The same is true for time. It has many uncharted pores. Time does move strange in our town. Have you noticed how many clocks there are in the town? And a bell that tolls every hour. All of these clocks are small cathedrals. They don't measure time, they weave it. Time coils into loops beside them. Have you noticed? Like a hive, a queen makes a larva. Worker bees cradle, transport, and manage them. The cathedral produces time. The clocks distribute it. If that was true, one could bargain with time. But I'm always running short on time, always late. These clocks are the best I've ever done for our town. So you made them. You have good reason to be proud, then. That's so interesting. So there's actually an explanation for these clocks. Like, it's not just that they happen to be there and, you know, they serve the gamey purpose of being a safe system. They do that, but they also have a reason for being there. They're connected with the kinds and all of their experiments at extending human consciousness and messing with things that they probably shouldn't. can't go here? I thought... I don't have any twilight on me. I thought I was called here before. Like, I'm, I'm sure I died after I was called here, but maybe you have to be called here to even find it or something? I don't know. Huh. I don't know. Let me see if I can go to the center one. Ah. picture <laughs> really sticks out do you even want to talk to me you do and so katarina has an heiress no more 
You reek of meat, man of heavy hands, and of blood and misfortune. Hmm. Can't smell it any can't smell it anymore myself. Got used to it, I guess. Come to think of it, we have a lot in common. I reek of misfortune too. Our whole house does. I'm sorry about your loss. Your morning, Simon. Today I... Oh no. Today I dreamt of Earth. This is familiar. I went to a cemetery barefoot for some reason. I saw human bones in the snow melt down below my feet. Why? What was the purpose of my life? Right. Well... Let's take a screenshot of that and put it next to these other two ones from Anna Angel and Ava Yon. Whoops. Hold on, let me make some room. Yep, all the same dream. What's the similarity between them? I don't know. They're all women? Maybe they all have powers? Perhaps? I don't know if any of these people ha are confirmed to have powers. I think Maria Kana is. But I don't know about Ava Yon or Anna Angel. Hmm. Hmm. Unexpected words from the Kynes heiress. Simon's gone. Uncle Georgie can't protect us. Mother is dead. And father... Ah, father. And me. Who am I? I used to be like mother. Do what she said. Oh, no plague would dare touch us while she lived. She was a true mistress. Just don't follow her directly. Who do you think you are, talking to me as if we're equals? A person who has lived longer than you and seen more. This plague came after me, to challenge me. Am I a mistress yet? But no, I'm not. Ah, uh, what do I do? You are a mistress, all right. By blood, if not in spirit. I don't want to die. So don't. Aren't you a kinda? That's a really cool looking lamp. Cathedral time. They're all looking at me. <laughs> I love the way their eyes glow. Alright, I'm gonna skip the queue. Oh, wait. There's a lot of people to talk to. <clears throat> Chain link. Her questions are madness. What numbers? My work schedule? Who would like to be rid of? I'm an ordinary person. Why ask me? I live a good life. I'm a productive member of the community. I've never hurt anyone. What did she say? She's like a magician. Asked four questions. Wrote down three letters. I have no idea what it meant, but I'm scared. Guess she hasn't broken you completely yet. Ah, <sighs> guess I was lucky this time. I'm a good person. A good person. You're only realizing it now? I need to sit down, I'm dizzy. Huh. I can see now that I've always had that in me. I see myself with different eyes. Wow. Wonder how I'll see myself after the interrogation. But I've got kids, kids. These hands work to feed them both. I teach them to be good. What did you discuss? How did you find out about the theft? 
It wasn't even a real theft, and I'll never do it again. What does she do to you all? I guess it's best when you see him less. Andre? She has a stump of an imagination. Not that she lacks it completely, you know. She's not talentless. That's what stings the worst. The Inquisition only takes the talented. They look for children with potential and then teach them to look for openings. They recruit children. Sometimes. And you know this Inquisitor personally? At one degree of separation. I see. I only hope the bitch doesn't touch brother. They're very protective of their brother. Which, I mean, fair, of course. But remember, they even... They even were willing to basically die. Remember, they basically told me, like, whatever happens to me as far as the play goes, whatever, just... To keep my brother alive. Well, perhaps you'll appreciate that you came to her voluntarily. You'll see. Do you think she'll appreciate her polyhedron? No. Agreed. You know, it's beginning to grow on me. She's clearly a professional. A specialist in her trade. 80% or so. 85 as she's been to the capital in May. Could have been even higher, but that bird story. Is that the probability of execution or salvation? They're often indistinguishable from one another. Do you know her? Aglaya Lilich? As an Inquisitor, you mean? I don't know. You mentioned working for the Inquisition. I did indeed perform certain services. Errands, really. But that doesn't mean I understood them. Doesn't mean the opposite, either. You'll see for yourself soon. And if you don't, you'll sense it. You're the kind to think with your heart. Intriguing. Mark! She made an example of murderers and madmen. That was merely prologue. The game itself is yet to start. Oh, so you've been invited to this performance too? You mean the gallows? Reckon we'll spectate or go on stage? Well, we won't direct this play, that's for sure. But I was talking about what awaits us inside. Inside? That's not a performance, just a run-through. Meaning she'll probably run each of us through with something sharp. All the world's a stage, sometimes a gallows stage. I foresee a unique experience. We're about to witness the most exquisite one-woman show. I suggest you keep track of it and learn her devices. It'll come in handy. Are Inquisitors actors? Absolutely. Her role is difficult, though, so do play along. Improvise. Drop a brick or two. Derail her with your silly train of thought. You know the drill. That was a compliment so backhanded I could see through it. Let's watch this one woman show. <laughs> oh man, I'm getting hurt. My health's awfully low and the infection's kind of rising a bit. Cathedral produces the time, the clocks distribute it. What? This will be a long conversation. You must pay complete attention. You don't need to tell the truth, but lying will have consequences. Ready? Well, I'd like to take a seat first. Looks like I'm in for something interesting. Are you that cynical or that brave? You don't seem like a fool. I'm first and foremost exhausted. We've seen too much over the last week to be afraid of you. Let us start with the classic problem. 
Would you push an obnoxious fat man in front of a trolley to keep four children from being run over? This is not a problem, it's a provocation. I see. Question two. Soldiers are about to execute your two daughters. If you offer them one voluntarily, they will only shoot her. If you refuse to cooperate, they will shoot both. Your move? I have no daughters. Should we maybe get down to business? You're an intriguing man, Artemy Burach. Your speech has an unusual cadence to it. A rare thing indeed. But I believe I have now attuned myself to you. Do you know why I'm here? I can guess. I've been told you're well versed in the local lore and medicine, with its unusual beliefs about the human body. I've been told you're working on a cure for the disease. And as there can be no cure, this is merely sabotage, am I correct? Words, words, words. So can a cure be produced or not? I don't know. An hour ago, I was brought out a vial and a letter from one Stanislav Rubin. He claims the medicine is a tested serum, THE serum, and that the town owes its existence to you. Any comment? Wait. An hour ago. So Rubin's alive? They fake their own death or something? What did you do, Reuben? Made some miracle cure and then dropped it off? I don't deserve the honor. I've also been informed he was a close friend of yours. I'm wondering if I should, how much I should kind of pry versus just answer the question and try to give up as little information as possible. Do you know what happened to him? Ruben died tonight. Have you not heard? I only know he's dead, nothing more. Doesn't matter now. What matters is why he sent the sample on your behalf rather than his own. Hmm. Passing the torch to me, so to speak. A cure for the sand pest changes many things. Thousands of life and death questions, of which I'm now interested in four. Now I need the recipe and access to the ingredients. Show me. Which four lives are you concerned with? Burrah, are you mad? I don't believe you fully comprehend who I am or what is happening right now. Is that so? I don't care. What is this sample made of? Blood, mostly. Herbal tinctures, but those are secondary. And we're lucky it's September. Twire is in bloom. Infected human blood? No. I don't know whose blood it is. If I didn't just hear you, Burrah, I'd assume you were trying to make fun of me. Allow me to reciprocate, then. Did you know that the whole ordeal with divining your fate is more than mere mystical nonsense? Your fate has been amputated. I can tell that for certain. Perhaps. I don't really care. What do you mean? Are you that apathetic? Or is it that you simply don't understand how painful it is to remain a puppet in the hands of those more powerful than you? I act on what I believe is my duty. If someone tries to use my actions to their own ends, I don't care. You're a fool. Although, perhaps, you're not the fool here. Go. This conversation is over.
Do I see a hint of tears? Don't give me cheek, bruh. I won't have it. You're to report to me here daily. Any more quips, or are we done? No, I'm good for now. Man, I give them so much sass. I love it. So, what's happened here? We have a cure. It cost Reuben his life. What did you do, Reuben? So now he won't be able to tell me what he made it from. How can I make more? I need an advice from someone well-versed in blood. Ah, Var. Good idea. I'm still not convinced that Reuben is actually dead. Reuben is dead, and I think I know who is responsible for this. Going to Sawa's place? Probably because, I mean, who else to suspect but the kin? New person. They are nerves. Well, they certainly get on my nerves. We have a cure across Reuben's life. Yep. Aglaia is busy. Now is not the time to see her. What's up here? Also, I'm dying, but what's up here? Save game? Oh, you can use this whole place to save the game. Interesting. I am very close to death. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm gonna go try to find some healing items really, really, really fast. <laughs>